Hello everybody, how are you doing this fine day? Hopefully everything's going well for you. Um, everything's going pretty well for me, I'm just making a start video right now, so yeah. Let's get into it. I'm immediately showing the stats because there's no point in hiding it. I have 99 stamina, hardly ever run out. Tw 223 in defense just because I want as much defense as I can get. 70 Delphi Fruit, honestly, meet your fury when are you ever going to use your ult in the arena? Let's be honest, you kill everyone way too quick. 20 Roko Shiki, and now, now for the big one. Now for the big one. 338 Sword. That is just barely enough to the point of you doing exactly enough to get 32 damage a hit. Like, one last point, you do 31. But with it, you do 32, and that just chunks everyone you are just doing the same as a boss and let's be honest that's kind of op your combos do mass amounts of damage every hit you are taking a chunk out of their health your fury is doing 11 and is hitting so much that nothing really survives if i'm being honest like everyone dies mostly so yeah uh, these stats are pretty OP. Later on in the video, you will see me PvPing with these stats. I think I want to say I went on an 8 win streak. It's just like playing an arena, trying to get it. I ended up losing like twice. Um, just because uh, I wasn't really focusing. I was more watching a video in the background, which was just my bad. But, you know, not bad. I want to see something real quick. Just like, how, much down, how many times does this hit? So, 1, it does the 1 hit. So 27 times, so it's hitting 26 times for 11. I said it did 10 hits last time, because I was like underestimating it, you know. But now, because of the new combat si combo, combo system, we can fully see just how many hits that does. That does six at 19, I'm pretty sure. 19 a hit, and then 11 at the last one. So five 19s, then 11, you've got to remember that. I'll add this all up for you, don't worry. And I will tell you the full combo at full damage. Like, it, it is crazy. I'll tell you the actual amount of damage you do if you are able to pull off the combo. I have made a slight change to the combo. So you do one full M1 like normal. R, E, follow up when it's finished. M1, M1, M1. But instead of pulling, you push. Then you pull them straight back. M1, M1, M1. They've been pushed forward. Then dash. This. If they block then that's fine then you just back up and it gives you time just for your like pull and push to come off cooldown and your gravity frenzy and field and then you can go back in but if not that's going to do a massive amount of damage then you can m1 combo them after the gravity dominance because they don't know when that's ending only you know so yeah it's kind of kind of busted but at, by the time you get to gravity dominance they'll most likely be dead if i'm being completely honest <laughs> I have 862 HP, which is, oof, you don't really need any more than that, let's be honest. Like, being a tanky boy is nice, and I think I'm going to make a new set of um, stats for being a tanky boy with a little bit less damage, but still doing quite a bit. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, that's the start video. Hope you enjoyed the little PvP segment. Um, peace.